another book. Yep. We are at the littlefreelibrary.org. We're Chi Magoo YouTube. We are vloggers and book lovers. It's scenic views of the rolling hills. Pop up, they do all kinds of different security boards and pop up carts. So, what they're doing to help with the COVID uh, restrictions and uh, help keeping everybody safe. They're doing one of two things. One is you can buy it by the glass for one or... Cute little box, little takeaway, take home, and they give you a sample of four of their wines. So we get to try four today. Oh, these are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Quality, you can smell it already. And there's shotguns in the background. All right, better girl. All right. All right, let's go check out the rest of the vineyard. Mm -hmm. Very cool atmosphere with local, uh, small local businesses and different niche types of businesses that they have on site. Now we're headed to actually on the same road down at the end, and apparently the old style barn cathedral ceilings inside is something to see. Dead people stuff. Is Dead it? people stuff antiques. Oh my god, I love it. You know my quirky. Can I ask, how did you come up with the name? 
We stole it from a friend. <laughs> Did you really? Well, Sue, are you still selling that dead people stuff? <laughs> Next summer, when we sort of over copious amounts of wine at Scottish, designed this business. He said, let's call it dead people stuff. And both my brother and my wife said, I don't think so. <laughs> said, We've used it ever since. It's good it. for you. Yeah, That's awesome. From this and thing at the same time. Yeah. So great. staying in a, a rustic log cabin oh, no, yeah. for two nights. We're, oh, here, we're here for two nights? We're here for two nights and there's a couple of special things that are going to be going on. But we'll talk about While we're that. here? But we're talking about that later. Oh, <laughs> we're the only ones out here? We just want to give you a little tour of this beautiful cabin and tell you a little history about where it came from. In the 1850s, this cabin was originally built. And in 1998, Danielle bought the land and this cabin and had a vision for the future of what this would look like. So let's go inside and we'll show you a little bit about it. Once you come into the cabin, you really get an idea of the nostalgia that's involved with this place and the originality and the actual work that goes into creating something like this and making it what it is today. So they've created a cute little living space here where they got a pull-out couch for extra guests. In the middle, they have the center of the room filled with games and books and activities to enjoy with a little campfire or a little fireplace here as well. One of the cool features of this cabin is this table here and it's actually been marked by the people that were involved. But this table here is actually handcrafted it's the centerpiece of the dining area when you come and eat and enjoy your food with your family and take in a seat. So this part has just a, a tiny nice little functional kitchen with everything you need. They have it stocked, ready to go. You can see that they've captured of keeping the essence of a log cabin. Wood shelving, original kept wood countertops, just beautiful convenience and now we're in the bathroom of this cabin and this wasn't original, this was an addition that they put onto the cabin after they had started the renovations and began the process of finishing it up. The toilet is actually compost, so there's no flushing mechanism to it, but it actually brings all the nutrients back into the land right here and uh, it doesn't even smell. It's actually cleaner than what the toilet is at home. 
Now the sink is a really cool piece of this bathroom here. As you can see, it's an original barrel that would have been back on the farm on, on the olden days. And again, this is water just sourced in from a uh, water source in the back. Um, no heat, but you don't really need it when you're here. And uh, you got all what you need. So you wonder, where's the shower? A cool outdoor shower. Now Tony and I weren't sure about this and we we're like, oh, we got animals watching us and who's gonna drive up? But we tried it last night. So we are <laughs> headed outside to have our shower in the outdoor shower. And uh, it's interesting, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Face cloths for the soap and the this, are you? Uh, well, no, not really. I, I don't know, I think so. Creamy body wash, lavender body wash. Just hang them on the edges. A little bit of cobwebs. Turn that off. We'll see on the other side. So it's not going to plan right now. We went outside and uh, there's no water. We had to flick away the spiders and uh, the cobwebs are kind of getting in the way. So we're working on a solution right now to have a shower. <laughs> Figure it out. And it was awesome. Really great experience. Just a tiny little place right here. Clean water, hot water, great for one or two. The best part of the log cabin is the bedroom. So as we go upstairs, they've kept the original tin roof. And you can imagine the beautiful rainstorm that you would hear at night coming off the tin roof. Now the really cool part is that Danielle had a vision for the flooring up here. And not too many people agreed with what it would turn out to be, but I think it looks fantastic. The floor is actually made out of paper. So bits of paper that they laid across and then put a seal over top to give it the cool effect. You've got all the kind of requirements you need in a bedroom. Rocking chair, little fire, lights by the bed. Perfect for a nice little night in bed. So that's it. That's the cab. That's the cabin. So if you ever have the opportunity to get to Seven Directions Lodge, you must do it. Come see Danielle and Elise and the family and the friends on the farm. Truly a unique experience. So far, this trip has been absolutely epic. The response from Rachel has been incredible and she's liked everything so far and we're only getting started. I want to make sure I take the time right now to thank our sponsor for this video. Guessware Trips is a fantastic website. You find online guesswheretrips.com. There's so many options for you. And I mean, I wouldn't find some of these places at all on my own. And if you're someone like me that has trouble organizing things and coming up with ideas, Guessware Trip is definitely the one you want to find. Go online, search their trips. They are now servicing right across Canada and most of our provinces. And they bring to you some of the most incredible places you would never ever think of. Their packages are put together, it's a set price, and I have to tell you the team at Guessware Trips, Jessica and your staff are phenomenal. They really work with you to make sure that your trips are epic, and if there are ever any issues or any problems with some of the places that you're stopping, uh, especially with the time that we live in now and you just don't know when it's gonna be open, they help you get through that, they help you find a solution and make your trip as memorable as possible. As a special added bonus for our trip, Guestware Trips have provided us with a promo code for you so you can go out and experience your very first Guestware Trip. Go to their guesswheretrips.com website right now and when you check out, enter promo code where to Magoo, and you'll enjoy a great discount at a price just set for you so you can get started and become obsessed with doing Guestware Trips. Make sure you head on over to guesswheretrips.com, get started, get out on your trip and uh, you start your adventure. Very excited about this morning um, because what we are doing with Danielle and the owners of this property is we're taking a part in some horse therapy sessions and this is something I knew Rachel would be absolutely in love with. 
I had a little bit of horse therapy this morning. It was phenomenal, just by myself. And it gets you right in depth with the horses, spending time with them, and Danielle talks to you about your experiences with the horses. I'm very excited. Um, never done this before. Tony's never done this before. No. So another great new experience that we're going to have today. Naya, this is for you. There she goes. She's going to do her session. I'm going to do my session after. How do you feel? Good. Yeah, awesome. Hello, Mr. Perrin. How was it? Good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Great day. So far. So far, true, right. Just finished our sessions with Danielle with some horse therapy. And what a way to connect. It was amazing. And it was more than just kind of learning about the horses and learning about yourself. It was kind of learning about culture and relaxation and how to take care of yourself. Great moment in there. I bonded with a white horse named mm. Tinkerbell. <laughs> Um, which represented my mother. I can't even, you know, beyond wow. And this is definitely more than just a spot to stay. It's it's a, an, experience. an experience. It's a space to experience. Now um, we're laying here on a hammock yep. after a nice little lunch. Yeah, the alpaca pound is right there, but no alpacas right now. We connected with the goat. We did. Yeah. And one of the alpacas that thinks he's a goat. That's right. <laughs> he thinks he's a goat for sure. Now we're going to go for some internal energy therapy soon. A cleanse, clean out the negative energy, bring in new positive, positive energy. energy. Our last night here at the, at the cabin and we definitely enjoy it to its fullest. Mm Oh, our last morning here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Luckily this morning, we actually go to help Elise with the morning chores in the barn. Earn our keep. Earn our keep. Go We're going to go see Spirit. Yeah. Let's go bring him out. My daughter came and took over. Well, look at this. Alright. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Curious George. Body, You're like a kid. <laughs> it's okay, we're coming back. You're so bad. <laughs> Archie is like, I swear, he's our favorite, this little guy. Good morning, guys. How are you? You ready to go out? Oh. Let's go, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so <cool. laughs> See you guys. That was intense. That was awesome. <laughs> Got mounted by a goat. That's right. Woo! Mm, hey now. This is where we say goodbye. This is where we say goodbye. We're leaving the lodge now and uh, we're moving on to the next adventures. Horses came to say goodbye. The horses came and we to say goodbye to them. Let's get on the road and get on seeing what we've got coming up next. And I guarantee you, this next spot is epic, unique, and you'll have no idea. <laughs> Can really taste it. You can 
taste the, the hint of the caramel and stuff in that. That is, I like that a lot. No caramel? Huh? You can really taste the honeysuckle and the orange peel in that inside the wine. <laughs> you don't see it? I'm just kidding, it's not over there. <laughs> Fingers are in the shot. Just hold it with your... I don't know. I just want to... Uh, I want to videotape you and get your reaction to where we're holding it. Really get a sense of the... Mm -hmm. It's gonna... This is really creepy. I know, but... It's not just You need to be 